hello and welcome to the channel in today's video we are going to learn how to create custom ui refresh control in swift 4 uh, with refresh control we have already done one video where we use default refresh control that is showing activity indicator and as you know refresh control is used to refresh the contents that are displaying in the table view whenever user pull down the table view a loader comes up at the top and that's called the refresh control so let's start and learn how to create custom UI refresh control open up your Xcode and create a single view application template project I already created one for myself so you can create one for yourself and let's start the designing part here open main.storyboard and first of all we will change the background color of our view to yellow one and then we will drag UI table view to our view and we will give the constants 0 from the top leading will be 0 and trailing also 0 bottom also 0 okay here we go and now we need to create an IB outlet so let's start at that IB outlet we are doing this in view controller.swift so we where tvl list this is our table view controller and let's make this small and a type of ui table view and here it is okay now open main door storyboard as we need to connect this outlet here in view controller select it and double click on it you will see the your outlet here just left click of your mouse and drag and drop to the table view it will get connected automatically and now we are done with this now in order to create refresh control open view controller dot swift and here we will say where refresh control is equals to ui refresh control here it is and here we will create a function to add the refresh control to our table so add refresh control and here it is so here we have refresh control so first of all we will create a default refresh control refresh control dot tint color is equals to ui color dot red and also if you want that to refresh control dot background color is equals to ui color dot red and make this white so that it's quite visible and here now we need to add a target to it refresh control dot add target self and hash selector and let me say refresh contents and dot value changed and here lastly we will add so if hash available ios 10 Point o onwards we have a property called refresh control so tbl list dot refresh control is equals to our refresh control and otherwise else we will add it as a sub view to our table view dot add sub view refresh control okay now we need to add create a function for our selector so here fun this is our selector refresh contents and here you will say self dot perform selector with object because I need to show you that it is animated so I will give it a delay so here it is and here we say selector finished refreshing okay nil and after delay of 3.0 and let's create this selector to add obgc function and here it is so here we say refresh control dot and refreshing okay so this is the default now if i run the app at this moment uh, it will show the default so we forgot to call it in view reload so in view reload add refresh control and let's run the app on our iPhone 10 simulator so 
so here it is our app is running and here you can see the default is showing that is background color is red and it's yellow so in order to change this and make it custom we can do it too so here just right click here and new file and okay, select a view class as shown in the screen and here say refresh view or you can say custom refresh view and we create it and here it is so here it is we have and let me make it freeform so that it's very quite ideal to us and here I am just making it like refresh control similar skin so here it is now here what we can do we can change the color to a light pink and also we have a UI label here so instead of activity indicator I am showing label here so you can change it according to you or requirement that whether you want to make some funny things or not or some great things so here uh, two constraints and here I will change the title to refreshing or you say pull down to refresh this list here it is and I will make it a little white this white will look little and it's bald so here it is and now open up your view controller dot swift and let me make it a little bigger and here what we do we will say let custom view is equals to bundle dot main dot load name name and name will be the name we'll pass it layer later so the nil owner will nil and option will be nil so here let's copy this because I don't want uh, mistype the name so that's why I do this thing so here custom refresh and here say let uh, refresh view is equals to custom view object at zero okay and here it's a any and uh, we need to unwrap it so here you can say guard let custom view else return as we have an error okay So here oh, we need one more condition here so you add it here also G U A R D card and here else return okay so now you can see this error will gone Now it's gone it's it's took some time okay now what we'll do we will say refresh control or refresh control dot add sub view and we will add as this refresh view as yes, UI view this must be an UI view so let's add it here now it's all fine and now we don't need this so we will say clear color and also make this background a little clear okay and now let's run the app again And let's run it again and here you can see pull down to refresh this list and it goes back as we are done with the refresh but one problem here that the label is not centered properly so what we do we will say refresh view dot frame is equals to self 
dot or you can say refresh control dot frame and now it will work fine and now let's run it and here you can see the label is in the center and pull down to refresh this list uh, identically you can also change this view so let's say we will give it a tag refresh view dot tag is equals to so let me put this there 12052018 and here whenever we change the reference so uh, okay refresh view dot tag and here it is and we will get let refresh view is equals to refresh control dot dot view with tag so what we give tag here 1205 and here what we'll say we'll say if or we say for vw in refresh view dot subviews okay if vw is ui label as we have only one label so we say vw dot uh, let title label is equals to vw as a flat sorry as ui label and so since we didn't need this condition now because we are using if flat so here we say title label dot text so here what is this error because we need to force unwrap it and here it is so title label dot text is equals to refreshing contents and do one more thing here as soon as we will finish we will change this text to whatever we write it here pull down to refresh this list so pull down to refresh this list and now let's see and see if we have done something okay so app is launched and here refreshing contents and here it is so here you can see refreshing contents is coming whenever I change and pull down to so I am able to change the labels as per my requirement and so here it is you can see you can do whatever you want to do with this label you want to change this text as per your requirement or some animation or something else so this is a very short video where you learn how to do add a custom pull to refresh on your UI table view hope you like this video if you like this video then please give it a thumbs up and do share this video if you have any question and queries then please feel free to comment and if you haven't subscribed to our channel then please subscribe to it as we are going to bring more tutorial on swift and ios app development thanks for watching have a nice time bye for now